your video streaming revenue can jump by 30% with just one strategic move, launching a Roku app. And here's the thing, most creators don't take advantage of the massive reach that Roku offers because they think it's too complicated or expensive. So in this video, I'm going to reveal three ways to create your own Roku app, how these methods compare in terms of cost, time, and technical skill required, and the best option for video creators looking to expand their reach and revenue. But first, you might be thinking, sure, a Roku app sounds great, but will it really grow my membership? Well, at Uscreen, we analyzed thousands of memberships across our platform, and we found that nearly half of all TV app viewers watched content exclusively on TV apps, not on websites, not on mobile devices, just TV apps. This isn't about giving your current audience more ways to watch. It's about tapping into a whole new viewer base. And Roku isn't just another TV app. It is the king of TV apps. It accounts for 80% of all watch time from TV apps on the Uscreen platform. By not having a Roku channel, you could be leaving money on the table and engagement opportunities untapped. So let's dive into how to get your app up and running. For those of you who love getting your hands dirty with code, this first option might appeal to you, but fair warning, it's not for the faint of heart. Creating a Roku channel on your own used to be easier with Roku Direct Publisher but Roku shut down that program at the end of 2023. As of filming, creating a channel using the Roku software developer kit and their design tool scene graph is a viable option for those of you who are more technically inclined and willing to invest time into learning and maintaining the platform. After you create your developer accounts, the method involves three main steps. First, you'll need to set up a content delivery network or CDN to host and deliver your videos. That can cost anywhere from $20 to over $1,000 a month, depending on how much content you have. Next, you'll create what's called a content feed, basically a file that tells Roku what videos you have and all the details about them. You'll need to keep this updated as you add new content. And finally, you'll need to host this feed somewhere online, and this could cost you another $10 to $100 a month. Roku does provide some training material and code samples, but if anything goes wrong, you're really on your own. Plus, the time you spend developing the app is time away from what you're best at, which is creating great video content. So instead of getting overwhelmed by trying to DIY an entire TV app, we can take a look at our second option, hiring an independent developer to do all that work for you. If your project is complex, means custom features, or you have a huge content library that requires special handling, bringing in the pros can save you a lot of headaches. Plus, if you're on a tight deadline and need everything running smoothly, agencies have the skills and resources to get your channel up and running efficiently. You can find developers on freelance platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, or TopTool, or look to an app development agency that can bring in a whole team to build your Roku app from the ground up. It's important to thoroughly vet the developer or agency that you plan to hire, so make sure they offer you a look at their previous work and read past client testimonials. When you hire a developer like this to build a Roku app from scratch, process usually takes between three and six months to complete, and it can cost anywhere between twenty dollars and $50,000, depending on the complexity and features you want. These costs cover the initial design, development, testing, and deployment, and that's just for development. So if you have to go down this route, remember you'll still have the monthly expenses of running the app, maintenance, support, and hosting. If you have the time to wait in insanely deep pockets, hiring a developer can work but it's usually just an option for larger companies with other income streams to rely on during development. Luckily, there is a third option that's way more accessible for creators to get a Roku app up and running quickly, even if you have no technical skills. Dedicated platforms like Uscreen have streamlined the app building process with pre-built systems and templates. This means you can launch your channel faster and more cost-effectively, often in just 30 to 60 days. And building your app on this kind of platform means everything happens in one place. Your content management, video hosting, and payment processing are all under one roof, so you don't have to pay for multiple tools and services and figure out how to tie them together. Using a dedicated platform to launch your Roku app means your role is simple. Provide your brand assets, create app store descriptions, supply your content, and grant access to developer accounts. Then a dedicated team of developers will start building and even handle submission to the app stores. Most of these platforms, including Uscreen, operate on a monthly subscription model. This predictable pricing typically covers everything from initial app development to ongoing maintenance. You'll also benefit from regular updates and new features as we roll them out. Instead of juggling multiple contractors or trying to become a tech expert overnight, you can focus on what you do best 
creating great content for your new TV audience. We've seen Uscreen customers increase streaming revenue and views by 30% after launching the Roku channels. And since we handled the tech stuff, you'll have more time for creating content and engaging with your audience. To see how Uscreen can help boost your video streaming income with TV apps like Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, Samsung, and more, watch our on-demand demo. You'll find the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.